Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, on the Avamancia Peninsula. In the background there, we have got our field processing buildings, the barn, the windmill, and the silo there behind the barn that we've done in the last few episodes. Today, we're not going for a big build or anything like that. Today, we are going to be doing a little bit, going the wrong way, a little bit of releasing the beastages. Yep, today we are, we're doing it, people. We are actually going to take down the fences we are opening the gates we are allowing these foolish strange strange creatures to roam free across the whole of the peninsula now this is a gamble there are still areas of this peninsula that are going to cause them pain i.e darkness i.e zombies i.e face eating but i'm hoping that if i can have a significantly high number of the golems which will act as personal guard I think it's an exceptional idea. Act as personal guard to all of the people, including myself, in the peninsula. And hopefully, as a result of these guys spreading out, we'll get even more breeding of them, more kids running around, all that kind of stuff, meaning more golems. So that's the plan. Hmm. I think I'm literally going to start. Literally, what we need to do is just open up these areas here. And... I'm a little nervous, I have to confess, because I'm not quite sure how this is going to affect future builds. And to be honest with you, most of them are escaping anyway. Have I, did I just get those seeds? Yeah, I did. Um, most of them are escaping anyway, so does it really matter would be the obvious question. I've not got a hoe. Well, I've got a hoe. Oh, hoe-tastic. There we go. Right, so let's hoe this out. Extend this field out to there. And I can seed, if I take that and that, that'll give me some more seeds to be able to do that, that, and that. Perfect. Right, well, your entrance, my dear friends, has begun. Right, so I'm going to come over here. I also need to do something with these. These posts are ugly. Proper, proper ugly. Look at them. Oh, I'm going to have to eat something. There we go. But all right, let's so let's get get cracking. Let's just get some of this this stuff gone. I'm going to collect up a boatload of lanterns as well, which is quite good. The trouble there is, of course, I'm creating more dark spots, so I'm going to have to lob a few more lanterns back down. In fact, what I might do, if I using the patented lobbing them on a stick technique, and hopefully that will allow me to. Because lanterns have got 15 light and torches only 14. So it is slightly better. You've got to break on one of them. Otherwise it doesn't work. That there. That there. Und das der. Right. So let's keep, keep these things coming. And then I'll start to persuade them to, to perhaps branch out. We've got a load of villagers up at the top in fact let's go and do those now let's go and do those now rather than do this so i've got a load of villages up here i need to sort out these roads might do that as well but all of these villages around here oh my goodness there's loads of the the city guard up this bit look all of these villages here are literally just staying here as a result of beds they're bouncing around here as a result of beds and stuff like that so i'm going to get rid of these That'll allow the villagers to escape this area where they've got stuck. Dump and dump. There you go. You fly, be free. Pick up. Don't hit the villagers with the pickaxe. The city guard get very upset if you hit them with the pickaxe. There we go. And then if I get rid of some of these beds... I'll need to replace beds, obviously, elsewhere on the peninsula. Otherwise, we won't have any breeding going on at all. Don't hit. Don't hit the city guard, whatever you do. Trouble is off now. Right, if I pop that barrel down there. And just, it's a 
barrel of beds, look. We got a barrel of beds. Amazing. Right, let's pick out the beds now. I don't want to waste them because I am going to be using them again. This means I've got to build a load more residences of some description. Maybe I'll put a load of beds. Oh, that's all I need. It's raining. Amazing. Right, I'll have that as well. Pop that in there. Okay. I might go and put some beds over in these uh, constructions. Like, I'll put a couple of beds in. Let me get rid of these now as well. I put a couple of beds in the in the windmill. There's easy room there for beds. I can't walk. There we go. If I come across this way, I put some beds in here. How many have I got in my hand? Two. That will do for starters. Then we can have some windy millers in here. If we put one. One there, and one there. That makes us start to start to draw people over in that direction, and then we're back round there. Okay, I've got some serious fences to get rid of, so I'll be back in a bit. Well, they do not seem remotely bothered about moving. I suppose some of them are having a little bit of a sleep, but they're not really roaming around. What I have got roaming around are a load of cats, so. Have I got any raw fish? I haven't, have I? I've got raw fish elsewhere, though. So, oh, I've missed a few of these. Why didn't I pick these up? Goodness me, that was lucky. They could have despawned. So, I think I need to do something around here. I think what needs to happen is that we need to expand the village so as we get more houses here. Nothing really particularly flashy. Just a couple of uh, sticky houses to put some more beds in. Maybe we could do, like, a dormitory rather than having a load of beds on the outside like that. That's the idea, I think. That's the idea. We're going to dormitory up it. I haven't got any... No. I guess about go and get some materials. So we've done the roof and the struts. Hang on, I've got to take a step back. I just want to... These guys are starting to spread out a little bit, but not much. I've done a slightly different roof on this one, just for a bit of a change. But this is going to be primarily i think um stone brick i think that's that's the plan for this actual build it's a stone brick build i think what they would have done they'd have just got all of their excess stone brick and built it's not so much a barracks it, it is more of just a place where they all stay so i'm gonna what am i doing i've not put they, they're gonna need windows for goodness sake what is this like auschwitz or something uh, let's pop another window there. I got. I, I thought I did. I thought I got some glass. One, two, and three. Okay, so we've at least got that. One, two, and three. I might. No, I won't. I was going to say I might leave out a window at the back, but I'm going to put a window in there too. And then we're going to offset the front door. We we'll put it there. No, not there. Put it there. The door can go there. If I get my cheval, get some stripped oak. I do love a bit of stripped oak there and there. Where's the doors? I've got two spruce doors there and there. Bang and bang. That looks a bit like a. Uh, a dormitory door, doesn't it? I reckon. Totally does. If I put that there, that can go there. Then that there and that there. And then we can stick a window in there as well. I reckon that'll look quite nice. Well, we've finished up this part anyway. We've puffed it up quite nicely. Bit of surrounding area. We've got villagers already going into it investigating they're quite interested they've got an upstairs area as well yep you can go up there if you want no problem yeah you can go on no you don't want to okay that's fair enough but and uh so that is i think about 
10 beds catered for in there. Now I've had a thought that I was going to leave this as a bit of a you know a testament to the old days when 13-1 works beautifully but this area would really really lend itself to like a a village square or something like that it would be absolutely perfect so i think not in this episode but i think i'm gonna have to get rid i think this fella's got to go it's, it's a shame but you know these things you know change is good so we have come over to the mate's base quick no 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 oh i didn't mean to push you away I never mean to push them away. Oh, if we look at it, just wave bye bye, minecart. I'm just quick facey to check. Oh, I'm so clumsy. We have come over to the mates base and the Hall of Heroes because it is time to salute. Yes, salute you. You are awesome people. If you want to jump this bit, there is a timestamp in the description below. But why do you want to? I don't know. This is actually quite good. This is a nice, this is a feel good bit. Come and feel good with me. We are saying. Thank you very much, Carly West. Carly, you're wearing leather. You're atop a glowstone block and you're looking fab on the white. Carly, thank you for the support as a member. It is brilliant, brilliant. Oh, I just I just hit you in the face. I'm ever so sorry. It is brilliant, brilliant to have you there. And it is good to see you in the um, Avatopia server as well. Absolutely superb. And multi-fandom. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons all over the place here. Multi-fandom, lots of squiggly Korean lines that I don't have a font for. So multi-fandom, just imagine there are lots of squiggly Korean lines underneath there. Thank you very much. You are sideways for some reason. Maybe I should move your sign around there so as it makes sense. But you are still signed. It's good to have you in the members area. Thank you so, so much. I'm hugely grateful. Coming over to the Hall of Patrons. We are coming down into Cobble first, I think. And in Cobble, we have three new friends. James Schwartz. That is brilliant to see you wearing this clad steel, supporting your friends on either side in the can can. Thank you so much for becoming a Cobble patron. I'm very grateful. Cat Philp. Cat, thanks so much for joining the Cobble ranks. It is brilliant to see you atop this cobblestone block. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the Avatopia server. Thank you very much indeed. And Mate JMK or Matter JMK, not sure. Maybe let me know in the description below. Mate or Mate JMK, really good to have you on the end, although maybe not forever, of this can can. Thanks so much. Good to see you already in the Avatopia Discord as well. Absolutely superb. Coming around to the redstone area through this newly acquired door that we made and we have got last was the lovely catherine doors was the last person brady a hubbard brady thank you so much for joining the redstone ranks it's superb to be able to put an effigy of you on top a redstone block thank you so much for the support and wizard toaster 85 whose name literally only just fits on a sign Thank you for not having another single digit on that. Otherwise, it would have just imbalanced me and made my teeth itch. Thank you so much for the support. It is great to be able to put you in a steel suit and stick you on top of a redstone block. Really very grateful. And we have one more person to pay homage to. And they are up here. Living inside. There we are. Anthony Artini, Anthony, thank you so much. I'm blown away that you would wish to sit yourself on top of a diamond block. It is such a superb honour to be able to input you into this steel can can. I am delighted that you're on the server and you're already contributing massively to Avatopia and I'm massively grateful for that. Thank you so much indeed. If you would like to get involved with Patreon, it's dead easy. Just go to avamance.com. That is avamance.com. And there are all the details and the benefits of what you get for becoming a patron of this channel. It'd be really, really great to see you in the statue up there too. I'm just going to grab a sign here. We need a sign. And I'm coming up. The I can't remember what episode we've got. And I have to remind myself what episode we're on. Is it 90? It only is, isn't it? It's 90. That's mental. So episode 90. Who'd have thunk it, right? So today's mate in the mate space is an absolutely top guy. I've known him for ages on the channel. He has been a member of the channel for a very long time. And it is way, way overdue that this gentleman is added to the mate space as well. So I would like to add Derek Sorrell. Derek 
you are way overdue being a mate in the mate space. You are definitely qualified and it is wonderful to be able to add you to this extremely exclusive club. Have you got your flame proof socks on there, Derek? Hang on, I need to flame proof you. Oh, good you know. Boom, there you go. I've left myself a couple of rockets so as I can get home because I pushed the minecart away. Derek, it is brilliant to have you in the mate space. Thank you so much for the incredible support you've given me for such a long time. Thank you, thank you. Let's get back. Yay, I only wasted a couple. So I've put another little hut. This one's terribly flat. I need to, I just realised I've not edged the roof. I've not got what I need, have I? No. Oh, no crafting table, actually. Hang on. All may not be lost. If I pop that there. Let's use those. Yeah, they'll do perfect, I, th I think. Yeah. Well, I'll reserve judgment. They may do perfectly. If I come up there, there. Got on the fence there, 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 and there. Right, so I'm just going to get this up. Smashing. I've done the. I've got the back as well, and I. I forgot the back. Did I? Yes, I did. Of course, I did. I forget the front. I'm bound to have forgotten the back. Let's just get this fella up too. Um, out of the way it's what I'm really confused about is the fact that we have now got a bazillion golems mooching around this new house they seem to quite like it but it's not for them it's not for you you need to get out of my way I just need to, all I want to do is get up here and trim that off and then I'll be happy don't hit the golems whatever you do okay uh Have I not done that inside there either? Oh, for goodness sake. Have I got any of the strip wood left? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So what I can do is I can come up here. And I can pop the strip wood there, 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 and there. And I've not got any of those left, so I can't do that. So come down, don't hit the golem. Whatever you do, don't hit the golem. So we've got... Have I not got rid of my crafting room? I'll get rid of them seeds. So we've got another fairly bland looking house there. But there's another three beds in there. And as a result, I've got three more librarians because I put some lecterns in. And I've got knockback, which is boring. Uh... I've got Respiration 1, which is about as good as Knockback. And where's the third one? You're lurking around somewhere. And the third one's done a runner. The third one's wandering off somewhere. Maybe he's inside. Ah. So you can't trade whilst they're sleeping. So altogether, we're starting to get quite a lot of villagers coming in. Relatively short and sweet today. But actually, what we've done is fairly significant. The peninsula is now one single area, all the way from the very peak right up at the castle, right the way down to these walls down here. The villagers can roam wherever they want. The golems can roam wherever they want. The city guards, as they are now, need to protect everybody during these times of darkness. And I think I just need to get a little bit more aesthetic now. We need to build it up so we've got some nice, maybe some gardens. I need, I've got a load of flowers, although maybe I need to go and get some more. Um, that I could make a flower garden with. Maybe around here might be quite a nice idea. Use that pond as a feature. Don't know. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. What do you want? Yeah, right. Don't you look at me like that. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.